everyone. On this episode, we're going to revisit an old topic, Kalkwasa. So let's get to it. So, on this episode, we're going to be revisiting an old topic, Kalkwasa. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because two different people have asked me to do the video, kind of giving a different kind of update or a spin on the old video. Uh, if you want to check out the old video, that's going to be linked in the description down below. But this one's going to be more about uh, why I use Kalkwasa, why I chose it, uh, how I mix it, and also how I put it into my system. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell uh, just to the right of the subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, uh, as always, make sure you hit the bell so you get all the new videos that are coming out. So with that being said, let's get to the video and I hope you enjoy it. So as with everything in this hobby, it all starts with a bucket of water. Uh, RODI water especially. Uh, if you don't have an RODI unit, I strongly suggest that you get one. Um, I separate some of the RODI into a bowl. That's where I mix. Uh, Bulk Reef Supply Calc Washer is the best, I feel, uh, and that's why I choose it to, to dose with. Uh, and especially that the size that they offer um, lasts you quite a long time, as I show there. I do mix mine with vinegar, um, 80 milliliters per five gallons. Uh, you can increase that as your... Uh, level of calc that you use uh, increases as you as your corals begin to absorb more and more calcium and as always you're going to determine how much calc you're going to be using through testing weekly testing is always the best if you're checking alkalinity then daily you can do it just to that'll give you a, a good shot of what your tank is doing now right here I've isolated again the water from the bucket I'm pouring in my vinegar the reason that white vinegar is used is it helps to supersaturate the mix and it tends to um, not precipitate out as much and you'll see that in some videos where um, the bottom of the container contains that white uh, milky solution now right here what I'm doing is I'm just taking one level teaspoon at a time. I use six in my tank, and again, this I determine through testing. You'll see as you get more corals that um, your levels are going to start dropping as the corals start using more and more calcium, and especially with um, SPS corals that'll absorb most of this. Your calcium, your alkalinity, these may change, and Kalkwasser is designed that um, to keep these levels in check. Now again, when you first start using this, before you actually get um, and start dripping or dosing calc through an auto top off system like I do, it's very important to get your levels up to where you want them. Uh, calc is not designed to raise your levels to the point where you want them. It's designed to maintain your levels. As you can see, I got it all over my hands. So again, it's it's really good to use rubber gloves, but in this instance, I didn't have any and I needed it. So I just let it go all over my fingers. Um, so anyway, it's not designed to raise your levels. Once you get your levels where you want them, then through the course of adding um, the calc to your tank and checking your parameters, you'll see them either not change it all over the weeks or they'll rise or fall and that'll tell you where you need to be as far as how much to put into uh, your bucket and I started with and it's recommended to use a teaspoon per gallon I started with a half a teaspoon per gallon because I wanted to see where my tank was uh, and how much my tank was going to be using and over the course of several weeks 
it naturally uh, started leveling off to the point where that number did not change. Now, after three time, three uh, weeks of testing and it didn't change, I was good to go. My level, and that's the amount that I dosed. Now, as you can see here, I always run one bucket online, one bucket offline. Um, the tube that goes into the bucket is about an inch to an inch and a half off the bottom of the bucket. So this way, if there is any uh, precipitant that has floated down to the bottom, you don't want to suck that up. I run an Aqualifter pump to pull the water out and to dose it. As you can see, the line goes into my stand from the back of my stand, and it'll make its way eventually into the final stage of my sump. The reason why I use an Aqualifter pump as opposed to a regular pump is that Kalkwasser is really, really tough on regular pumps. And so far, I've had this same Aqualifter uh, dosing calc for almost two years now, and it's running fine. Of course, uh, regular maintenance, maintenance is important on it. Um, I do use it in conjunction with my JBJ Auto Top Off, so that turns it on and off. If you look this up online, you'll see there's a lot of articles and there's also videos on how to run calc washer mixed with white vinegar. Uh, distilled white vinegar is the most important. But you can find any kind of article you want. If you, if you don't want to dose it with vinegar and you just want to do it straight or, or the method of how to dose it, you can find that just by doing a Google search and, or a YouTube search on the topic. And there are plenty of them. Um, in my opinion, I don't have the money to run a calcium reactor. Two part was just driving me nuts. This, ever since I started using it, I have never regretted using this. Uh, you'll hear people say that mixing it with an auto top off can be dangerous because if the auto top off goes crazy and overfills your tank, then you have a massive dose of, of calc in your tank. And it is true. Uh, my JBJ is designed as to have a backup that if my auto top off does go crazy and it overfills, it will shut off if it reaches a certain level. Now, also, in um, there is a website. Uh, and this is a vinegar dosing methodology uh, for the marine aquarium. I'll link that in the description. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line. I hope this answers any of your questions as far as calc. And as always, this is Scott, and I'll see you soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.